Well, lunar eclipses are one of the most popular astronomical phenomena to view. Number one, you don't need special uh, safety glasses like you do for solar eclipses. And also, it's a very big object, so it's very easy to view with the naked eye. You don't need telescopes, binoculars, or special camera equipment to see it. Now, this one will be occurring on uh, Sunday, May 15th, so about 10 days from when I'm filming this on the 5th. Now, this will be the first of two lunar eclipses this year. The second one will occur during the first part of November. This one probably more comfortable to view outside since it's usually a little bit warmer this time of year. And the moon will be close to perigee. Now, perigee is just a fancy way of saying close to the Earth because when the moon orbits around the Earth, it tends to be an elliptical orbit. It's not, a, it's not a circular orbit, so there are times when it will come closer to the Earth. This will be one of them, so it will appear a little bit larger than normal. And also, the moon will pass close to the center of the Earth's shadow. That's basically what an eclipse is, one object moving into the shadow of another one. And because it's toward the center, the totality will last quite a long time, close to an hour and a half. That's pretty long for an eclipse. Now, the next question, obviously, how, how can I look at this? Well, you're going to want to start looking at this, look to the east-southeast sky starting around sunset, about 8.30. And the eclipse will begin about that time as well. Now, if there is one small downside to this, it will be occurring shortly before moonrise when it starts, so you won't see the very beginning of it, but you will be able to see about 80 to 90 percent of the whole event. Uh, totality will begin right around 9.30 and last until shortly before 11 o'clock before partial eclipse ends shortly before midnight. Now, if you can't watch this in person, we will be live tweeting this on our Twitter account. However, the big um, X factor there, weather permitting. You know, what's the sky cover going to be like? Are we going to have rain around the area? It's 10 days out. We have no idea what's going to happen that far out. So stay tuned. They should be making another briefing on this probably Friday of next week with some more details on sky cover and the chances of seeing the eclipse. Happy stargazing, everybody.